This clip covers well data within the Innova app. Going over the well data, I'll show areas where you can read and edit data. By default, the data will be read only, but a user can be given the edit user permission. This will be covered in an additional video covering user permissions. To get to a specific wells data, you go to the well listing and you select the row from the well listing that you want to open the data for. So in this case, I'm going to select this Cerberus 3H lateral well. What loads is the first page is effectively a summary page for your well. You can see at the bottom there, there's also a, a row of different icons which relate to different pages you can open from here. So we'll start on this summary page, which is the bottom left icon. At the top, we've got job data. In here, you can see that there's five different dialogues denoted by the five dots. So if you swipe right, we then have formations, casing, annotations, and survey program data. You can also edit this job data. You've got the speech bubble with a pencil icon in it. If you tap that, it will load your well information and you can edit things like job number, the rig, the status from within here. If you want to edit and save anything, hit submit. Otherwise, hit cancel. Okay, moving down, we've got a summary section in terms of the progress of your well compared to the principal plan and the personnel on the job as well as current ops and look ahead. The weather at your wellhead location, the 3D view. Now this will be covered in more detail along with the section view and plan view plots in a separate video. Depth versus time. If you hover over this with your finger, you'll get a more detailed um, depth versus time icon pop up. The last 10 surveys, footage per day, phase data and BHA data. Now you can see on both of these, there's three windows. This one is uh, footage, this one is hours, and this one is ROP. That's for phases, same for the BHA. Below that, you've got the cost summary for the entire well. If you swipe right, you have the cost summary per day. We then have a map of the well location, an inventory overview for the well, plan view and section view plots. Again, these will be covered along with the 3D plot in a separate video. So that's the summary page for a given well. I'm now going to hit the next icon in the toolbar at the bottom, which is your survey data. At the bottom of the screen will be your most recent survey. There's also an icon there for interpolating data. So for example, I could type in 15,000 foot and it will interpolate from my survey listing for 15,000 foot. So that's the surveys. Next one over is your daily reports. So we've got a section here for each daily report. So we've currently got 10 daily reports, the most recent at the top. In order to edit the report itself, we've got a summary here. We can edit the individual daily activities for that day by opening the daily report itself, and either editing the existing row or hitting the plus icon to add um, a new row within the report. If you want to edit an existing one, tap on the row that's there. So that's the daily activities. In order to adjust other data, we've got these other four icons in the top right of each individual daily report. So the one that looks like a tap is your pump data. One that looks like a, a man is your personnel data. So who's on shift. Next one is a barrel, which is your mud data. And the final one, the pencil icon, is generic daily report data. So date, report number, summaries, comments. So that's the daily reports. Next is the costs. You have a total cost at the top there, and then a summary of all the da uh, daily cost reports that you have. Again, you can edit an existing one and add a line item to it, or edit an existing line item. Next one over is the BHAs. Again, most recent BHA at the top, we can see we have got five BHAs. If you tap on the main BHA window, it will allow you to make adjustments, edit or add items to the drill string itself. Okay. 
If you also hit this pencil icon for any given BHA, you can edit the BHA numbers, um, description and other such things. If you tap the I icon, this will bring up the motor performance report. Now this is something you can edit. This is generated based upon um, your daily reporting information associated with given BHAs. Next one over is the slide sheets. Again, broken down into BHAs and a summary of that BHA slide data. If you tap on it, you can then go ahead and edit existing slide rows, or you can add a new row to the slide sheet. Next over is your inventory. You get a summary of how many clean and dirty motors there are on site, as well as your entire inventory listing for the well. You can then break down to look for particular types of tool or particular serial numbers using this search section. Okay, if you want to clear it out, I'll bring back everything up again. If you want to select an individual item from the inventory, you can then edit the properties of that and update it. Next one over is the real-time drilling parameters screen. So we can see here, if you are receiving a WIT or WITS ML feed to your server database, then you will be able to see your drilling parameters update here. Below that, uh, you'll get your updated tool face rows. So you'll have your most recent tool faces, your um, target tool face, the position of your bit projection, last survey, any offset wells and look ahead projection in relation to your principal plan. Below that, you've got your surveys. So again, you can swipe right for the most recent surveys. Bit projection window, where you have an automated and you can type in a manual projection. You've got look ahead projections. And below that, if you have any offset wells selected for that well, you will also get anti-collision updates. There's one more uh, icon in the bottom of the toolbar. That's for EDR data. Uh, that's been saved and plotted. That will be covered in a separate video. That concludes the well data video clip.